Hey guys, welcome to another episode about ESP programming. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up your Visual Studio Code to serve as primary IDE for your ESP projects. So if you don't have your Visual Studio Code already installed, please install it, uh, then uh, open your extension manager and make sure that you have uh, extension for uh, C and C++ and then in search bar search for platform IO it's this one platform IO IDE and install it all right when that part is done uh, open uh, your platform IO tab we are initializing our platform IO and finally we are going to create a new project so it's going to be a new project project name is going to be let's call it test now we have to select a board i have esp8266 i'm going to check uh, esp8266 uh, 12e and framework it's arduino that's fine location I want to uh, set manually location in my YouTube folder code ESP okay this is fine with my uh, other ESP projects I'm going to click on finish and all right now I'm going to close uh, this welcome page And your document uh, platform.ini, uh, it's automatically created. And in here you could find some basic settings for your project. For now this is completely unimportant. And uh, in here I'm going to open my uh, SRC. And in it I'm going to open main.cpp. So this document is actually entry point for your projects. So I don't need uh, this additional function. So I'm going to remove it. All right. I'm going to remove all of this code. Also empty spaces. And now I'm going to create simple counter sketch. For that I need integer counter, set it to zero, all right. In void setup we are going to initialize our uh, serial monitor with baud rate of 9600 and in here I'm going to uh, print value from my counter on every iteration and then we are going to rise value of our counter by one with every iteration and pause between two iterations is going to be 1000 milliseconds so really simple piece of code uh, just in order to test our visual studio code and platform io so now before building this sketch uh, check uh, this icon set upload monitor test port and now select uh, your uh, port name because i'm on linux uh, for me that is uh, dev tty usb 0 check it now i'm going to uh, build this piece of code give it some time okay it's done that's beautiful now what we have to do we have to uh, upload uh, this uh, binary to my microcontroller and I already have connected my uh, ESP8266 so I'm going to click on uh, upload let's check it so we are uploading all right now open your serial monitor uh, this is uh, with fork icon so serial monitor and down here we are going to see our result all right and now i'm going to reset my microcontroller so we are counting from zero again so guys that's all for this episode thank you for watching i hope that you have learned something interesting so please like subscribe and see ya